Um, so how many of you who are over the age of 40 feel that you're really fluent in text, texting language, LOL and NBD? And yeah, good, good. You're not supposed to be. It's not your language. Um, if I told you, um, and this will be very interesting, actually, to do here. Um, if I told you that last night, before I came down here, I went to a wicked pissa, <laughs> does anybody have any clue what I did? Great party. Party. Who said that? And, and what made you say that? Because it's a wicked pissa. Yeah, it totally is. Um, any idea where I'm from? Any idea where I'm from? You want to guess? Boston, East Coast, Boston. And in the 80s, apparently, we had parties that were so fun that you peed your pants. <laughs> now, I, don't, I didn't go to any of these specific parties, but um, apparently, they're so much fun that it's enough fun to make you want to pee your pants. Now, I will tell you, I used that example once in New Mexico in a room of about 500 people, and this dude way, way up in the back of the room goes, just jumps up and goes, Go socks! <laughs> and I stood there, I was like, oh great, I found my peer group. <laughs> awesome. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy that that went really well, thank you. Um, your slang is intended for your group. It geographically locks you and it locks you in time. Learning slang is critical to figuring out who your people are. You need to know who your people are. Um, you, so that if you ever run into them later in life, you can communicate with them. And obviously, it's not the only means by which you can communicate, but it's a very important way that you can communicate. Parents need to know a little bit of slang. You need to know what some things mean. You need to know a little bit of text, because you want to have some idea. But you are left out of this conversation intentionally. Um, and it's very important to understand that you're left out intentionally. But you do need to know a little bit. Now, 